Hello and welcome back to Speed Demon Painting. Today we've actually got a, uh, a different type of video. It's one that had me very excited because we have a little preview of the upcoming releases for the uh, the end of January 2022. Um, the War Cradle has a site for their uh, trade partners and uh, on that site you can sometimes find releases before they are even available to the public or before they are common knowledge and we have that exactly here with the Japanese fleet. Now the Japanese fleet itself consists of what you would expect in one of their traditional fleet boxes, a big battleship, this is the Congo battle fleet so it comes with a Congo battleship. Um, the cruiser plastics is all the rest of these parts, uh, two cruisers one cruiser per sprue you can assume because well it has two frigates so if you half this it also comes with the cheetah automata which are those small little octopus thingies and it comes with an SRS token uh, dispenser if you actually look into uh, the trade blog itself you will see that these cruisers can be built in a larger than usual amount of variations um, some including uh, launch platform ships that sort of shoot SRS tokens from the back out while they have big guns in the front and I very much like the look of those so I'll definitely be starting with those. And yeah, this is the Congo heavy battleship, the the one that uh, that does the heavy lifting for the force, comes brimming with heavy guns as you would expect really and in true Japanese style they should be fairly, um, fairly heavily armoured compared to the, their empire equivalent. Uh, the, the Chinese equivalent, I should say. And for the painted pictures, Daz always does a lovely job of painting these up. Um, but, of course, not all of the variants that could be built were painted up, so I'm only showing these. This is the Osaka class option, which seems to be your sort of bread and butter cruiser that uh, that has two heavy gun batteries and just yeah, does your heavy lifting alongside your main battleship for you. Comes with small little frigates. No doubt you'll be drowning in those in no time, although these are traditionally slightly tougher than the ones you get from other factions, so that might actually help keeping them alive because frigates are quite vulnerable. One critical hit means they are eliminated and uh, I think these guys actually have a, a higher than average citadel value to help you, to help them stay in the game for a bit longer. And also this is the first I think sort of frontline squadrons, well not the first, I suppose the US also had escorts available to them uh, and uh, corvettes. Well these cheetah automata function very similarly in game and you get these as well along with the rest of your ship so that's always good news those are available. And finally the Empire gets access to SRS tokens which is a big deal because uh, they have a few ships that actually benefit hugely from the spotter rule which requires you to have an SRS token uh, to uh, to guide your artillery along so it looks like they'll be coming along with these uh, Japanese fleets. And yeah, that's the overview for these. The reason why I'm so excited about these is because I recently was able to get my hands on uh, one of the new Tianlong sets. A um, buddy of mine ordered them from our friendly local gaming store and uh, the, the the patron actually he accidentally delivered two of them. He said, oh, I'm pretty sure I can sell them somewhere. And I picked them up the same day because... Uh, but the idea was to use them um, not for uh, a Chinese typical empire army but I'm going to go purely Japanese. So trading out the little Congo crew uh, Congo destroyers that come in that's it and I'm just going to go 100% for a Japanese force uh, themed in that way so that's why I'm incredibly excited for these models and I thought I would share now if you want to see more of these updates to the dystopian wars make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video bye